Hello everyone, today with Market XLS we're going to talk about the Put Ratio Spread Options Strategy. Market XLS is one of the top Excel based investment research solutions for investors. In this video we'll be discussing what a Put Ratio Spread Strategy is, how it works, and how it is calculated using Market XLS. So without any further ado, let's start with the topic. A put ratio spread is best implemented when you expect the underlying security to experience little volatility in the near term. A put ratio spread strategy is a limited profit and an unlimited risk strategy. It is a neutral strategy that involves buying a number of put options and selling more put options of the same underlying stock and expiration date at a different strike price. So what we do in this strategy is that we go long on one in the money put option and go short on two out of the money put options of the same underlying security and expiration date. Market Excellence also offers a template for this strategy. Here's an introduction page and here's an active template. The yellow cells have to be inputted by the user, so the stock ticker expiry date, the ITM and OTM strike prices for put, some upcoming expiry dates are available for reference, and for the purpose of this video, we'll be using Microsoft expiry date as 11 June. In the money and out of the money strike prices are 260 and 240. And we've bought one in the money 260 put option contract and sold two out of the money $240 put option contracts of Microsoft. In this case, we've built the net debit strategy and paid $1,050 to enter into the trade, and this is reflected in the net cash flow section. Market Excellence has many templates, just like the put ratio one that you see here, and it refreshes all the data when you click on the refresh all button. A payoff schedule and a payoff diagram are also available in the template. They can be used to analyze the gain, the loss, and the break-even. Maximum gain for the put ratio spread is limited and is made when the underlying stock price at expiration is at the strike price of the option sold, as shown by the green box. At this price, both the written puts expire worthless while the long put expires in the money. Maximum loss is unlimited and occurs when the underlying stock price experiences a sharp decline and drop below the break-even point at expiration. This is shown by the red box. Any risk to the upside for the put ratio spread is limited to the debit taken to put on the spread, as shown by the blue box. There may even be a profit if a credit is received when putting on the spread. This strategy has two break-even points, the upper and the lower. The upper break-even point is equal to the strike price of the long put plus the net premium received or paid, and the lower break-even point is equal to the strike price of short puts minus the points of maximum profit divided by number of uncovered puts. That is all for today. If you want to read more about this topic, please visit the Market Excellence website, which has hundreds of blogs and templates. If you want to get in contact with us, please book a demo and we'll be happy to help.